Welcome back, everyone. I've actually got two videos for you today for an extra spooky time here on Squeo's Gaming Channel. This time, we're going to be playing Evil Dead the Game. Um, this is going to be Story Mission 7. It just dropped on Thursday, I believe, with a free update um, that included two new weapons, this mission, um, and then if you have the paid content, excuse me, there are new cosmetics, as always, or costumes, I should say, and then there's a new character called the Blacksmith. I was kind of hoping we'd be able to play as him in this mission, but it looks like that won't be the case. Um, looks like that's actually Great him right there. So we can't play as the Blacksmith, but we can witness him. Oh, and this is one of the new weapons, the repeating crossbow. I do know that the blacksmith specializes in melee combat. I don't think he can use a uh, ranged weapon at all, but he's a real bruiser in melee combat, and his buff, like when he uses the amulets, he can increase his offense as well as his defense, and that is spreads to his teammates as well. Uh, got a staff. I guess this is the other new weapon, so Evil's that's awesome. End is nigh. Pretty cool new little set of weapons. We'll get to try these out. I did see uh, also with the update, there's a space now for an 8th campaign mission. So that'll probably be coming in a future update. I'm glad they got this update out in time for Halloween. I wasn't sure if there was going to be an update for this game or not, but I was hoping. This is one of the kind of spooky games we play. Looks like we're going to be facing the witch again. Or a recent demon that was added, so that's cool. Let me know down in the comments if you guys got any cool Halloween plans or if you'll be playing this game or if you're still playing this game. I kind of, I play it from time to time. I'm not playing it as much as I was when it launched, but it's, it's still a good game. It's been holding up well. It's kept me interested. I'm, excited. I'm mainly in it for, you know, the new updates and content and whatnot, such as this. But I do really hope that they add another multiplayer on that, for sure. We'll see at least one more. Maybe a new demon. Like we're good on the human players for now. Stuff, preferably more health items, uh, maybe some ammo. I want to use the the crossbow a bit here, but I don't have like that much ammo for it. I feel like I need to be more uh, sparing. These single player missions do get a little tough. Is there anything around here? Anything at all? Any items? These single player missions are really stingy too. All right, well, let's see what this is. I kind of like the crossbow, to be honest. Uh-oh. That means we're running out of bounds. Man, I took way too much help. The tonic works wonders. Oh, 
normal time with the dodge. Is not compared to my fury. Who is screaming? And am I gonna be able to get to that ammo? I'm hoping this little pool will go away eventually. Might have been the blacksmith who's screaming, actually. Oh, good, I need help. <laughs> Still real desperate for items, though, because now I have, like, nothing. Now I try to reload this thing. Blacksmith. Oh. Oh, it's these things? Oh boy. We've got multiple different kinds of demons. Bro. You being obnoxious, I got this. <laughs> You're ridiculous, bud. Henry the Red, you saved me. But your clothes are falling apart, particularly at the rear. Let me fashion something less revealing. Also, take my axe. It's better than that rubbish you're wielding. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm all death metal now. Nice. This place reeks of blood. I said something about taking his axe, though. I don't have an axe. Oh, here's the axe. This is cool. I'm, I'm assuming this is a new weapon as well. I can't remember if there was an axe in the game or not. <laughs> I'm horrible. All right. Well, still don't feel great about all this. I need. I mean, feel like I need at least one health potion to feel comfortable. But gotta work with what we got here. Don't mess people up with this axe. Okay. Now we got necromancer enemies. Oh, I can't even kill this thing. That's weird. I want the guys to have a butt. Yeah, okay, I remember that combo. There was an axe in the game before. Oh. Oh, quick. Surprisingly. Is that all there was to that? Too much, but I mean, it's it kind of sucks because I just feel like this in single player you're just not really rewarded for running around and exploring extra because it only really seems to put like uh, resources like directly in your path, unlike you know the regular multiplayer mode where there's just stuff everywhere and you just wander around and find what you can. Oh. Desperate though, I need something. I need another Tremskola. This guy's not great at dodging. I'm used to using other characters. 
But how can we lose with the power of rock on our side? Okay, so I figured out what happened there. Um, as soon as I picked up the axe downstairs and that music started, it uh, triggered a little time limit. So as of right now, you can see up there in the corner, I got a little less than two minutes. So you got to be quick. Uh, I'm probably going to have to take down the witch here at the end. I did way better this time. That second replay allowed me to have extra potions and stuff. I just had to get back into my groove. But uh, make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel so you can be there for more future content from this game. Uh, probably going to be Mission 8 for this game or uh, maybe a new map. And I hope you guys have a great holiday. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.